95% of people have dreams that they're too afraid to pursue and end up never taking the chance on them. But let's make you the exception. And I'm gonna tell you what I've done in the past to go work abroad, to be a digital nomad, to build my own business, to move to a different state, to do all these big, scary things, even though I was afraid. What happens is when we let fear take over, we're not able to live a life that we truly love and feel super satisfied with. But before we go into fear and how to overcome that, a major roadblock is actually worry, which also ties into negative thought patterns. A lot of people learn the habit of worry and think of it as a actual way to solve problems, but it is, it's not. Worrying does not solve problems. All it causes is more anxiety in your life and also causes you to stay safe and causes you to not move to where you want to be in your life. And that is what we're gonna end here. So this is what I did, and I hope this helps you get out of the worry cycle. One, you're gonna catch yourself. So when you are thinking a worried thought or when you're going through a negative spiral, you're gonna say, hold on, I am going through a negative spiral right now. That is not what I want. And that takes a lot of practice. Just catching yourself and becoming aware is a huge step. So you should celebrate. Number two, you have to replace the worry thoughts. You have to replace that spiral. So what are you going to do instead? So here I go on to explain my thought pattern of the thoughts and mantra I use to redirect and replace my worry spiral. But I want to define it a little bit more here so that you can really understand the second step. So the second step is once you understand and identify that you are in a worry cycle, the second step is to replace it with something that you can lock into and you can repeat multiple times until the worry cycle or the worry feeling subsides so that's what I do with this mantra that I go on to talk about and it really does help and find any mantra or maybe it's an activity maybe it's getting out of your mind and into your body but focus on something that you can do easily and when you're on the go specifically so that's why sometimes maybe a movement might not be the, the answer but do something that you can take with you whenever worry viral comes in and that's why this mantra is so powerful for me to anchor myself into a more grounded moment and a more moment of clarity instead of worry this is what i did and it worked really well for me find what works well for you and once i caught myself in a worried thought or in a negative spiral i caught it and i said okay i'm worrying i don't really think that's productive of my time it's just not so what am i going to do instead one i have to remind myself that everything is working out for me everything's working out for me i'm going to be taken care of i'm okay like i trust the universe i trust myself i trust god like i'm good i'm good so once i understood that core truth and i kept monitoring I, this is a mantra i said all the time and at the beginning i did not believe it but the more i said that everything's working out for me i trust myself i trust god i trust the universe things are happening for me the more i actually believed that and the more the universe showed up for me the more i saw miracles happen in my life the more things started working out for me because that's how that works again law of attraction number three I started focusing on what I did want to happen. People think that focusing on the worst case scenario saves you, but all it does is cause you more anxiety and sadness. You're grieving an unnecessary grief. You're tricking your body to feel pain. For why? What is the reason? To not get let down? That's not okay. And that's something that we learn from parents, from the world, and it's not something that's actually helping you. because you won't get let down. Even if something doesn't happen, something better is going to happen in its place. And it happens all the time, over and over and over again. When you understand that core principle of life and mindset, like if something is not in alignment for you and it doesn't happen, something better is coming, period, period. Now, let's say you applied for a job and a, a, your dream career. Instead of thinking, I'm not gonna get it, like there's no way, there's so many candidates, I'm definitely not gonna get it. I'm not even gonna think about it. I'm not gonna even get my hopes up. Get your hopes up. Like, I'm getting this job. I'm so good. I'm so qualified. I got this job. This job is so fun. My coworkers are so great. The pay is amazing. The PTO is great. The healthcare is top notch. Whatever it is that you want to focus on and that is in alignment with a higher vibration and that is in alignment with what you really do want and that is not worst case scenario, you're going to start envisioning that. So anytime you start worrying about, oh, am I gonna actually get this job? I don't think I'm gonna get this job. Oh my God, I have to stay where I am, blah, 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 down, spiral. You're gonna say, I'm, I'm catching myself. And then you're going to go into the mantra 
everything works out for me. I trust myself. I trust God. I trust the universe. Everything is going to be more than okay. Then you go into the third thing with envisioning. Okay. I'm seeing myself in this new job. It's remote. I get to work the hours that I want. It's so relaxed. It's such a fun environment. There's no toxicity. It's such a good thing. And then the last thing is you take action. So the last step to overcoming the worry problem for your dream life is you can take action. So maybe that means researching. Maybe that means learning a new skill. Maybe that means networking with people. Find the action that you need to take to feel less worry and start there. And that is how you break the habit of worry. And this takes time and this even can take years to break because worry is something that is ingrained in our society as like a way to solve problems, but it is the worst way to solve problems. Of course guys, you know, I'm not a therapist. So if you want to go ahead and book yourself a therapy session to overcome these deeper emotions, I really recommend it. I love to go into therapy. Mental health is super important and get yourself a therapist. So now that we understand how to overcome the worry habit, now we can actually move forward in releasing fear of taking big action, dreaming big goals. So the first thing we need to do is understand fear. I think when I understood fear, when I finally was like, oh, I know what fear is, I was able to overcome it because when you know something, when your brain understands the concept of it, it's a lot harder for it to trick you, right? It's a lot harder for like your bodily responses to trick you. That's not what happens. So what you want to do is understand than what fear is. So I'll give you a little definition here. Fear, even though it is experienced in your mind, it is triggered as a strong physical reaction in your body. As soon as you recognize fear, your amygdala, a smart organ in the middle of your brain, goes to work and it alerts your nervous system, which sets your body's fear response into motion. Stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline are released. Your blood pressure and heart rate increases. You start breathing faster and even your blood flow changes, which is kind of crazy. Your body starts experiencing either a fight or flight response and or freeze. So it depends on where, how you are going to react to this danger, this imminent danger that your body thinks it's in because it feels fear. <laughs> a lot of the time we're not in danger. We are just in fear of pursuing the thought of having something different in our lives. We're in fear of rejection. We're in fear of being loved, we're in fear of being seen, we're in fear of the unknown, we're in fear of fear. What I want you to do now and how I want you to start addressing fears, okay, so you have your big picture, you have your big dreams, but fear's coming in, worry's coming in. What are we gonna do now? We need to minimize that fear, step one. And in order to minimize this fear, this is what I've done and I hope it helps you. And this is what I continue to do because it is a constant practice. Fear is real. Your body's going to respond to not wanting to be in the unknown, not wanting to get out of its comfort zone. So here is what we're gonna do. We're gonna minimize the fear by breaking it down, understanding it, why am I afraid? Why am I afraid of pursuing this big, big business goal? Why do I feel like I'm not capable of having my own business? Why is that a fear? Oh, and then you go back in time and you get very clear on where this fear came from. Once you get clear that you're like, okay, it's actually not really my fear, it was taught, this fear was taught. This fear is something that someone taught me to fear. And then another thing can be like, I'm afraid because I might not be successful. I might waste all of my time and it might not work out. And maybe that's true. And I hate I hate when people say that to be honest, when you're like, what? <laughs> but what I realize is it might not work out, but something better will come in its place. So when you take action towards a dream, even if that specific dream doesn't work out, something better comes in its place. Something that isn't even more aligned, something that you might have not even have had on your radar until you start to take action towards this dream because that's how life starts unfolding opportunities start coming in when you bet on yourself when you say yes to yourself when you move towards your dream and that's how things happen in life you know there's a beauty to the mystery too now once we minimize the fear once we realize okay it's not as scary as i think it is let's create micro goals and so that's something you'll hear constantly that i talk about is micro goals because big goals massive goals like okay i want to own a business that generates a million dollar revenue that's a big goal and when you're especially when you're like at zero and you're like i don't even know what the business is that's a big goal so we're not going to go there we're going to say that's a vision but how do i go 
to a specific micro goal that I can attain now. Maybe it's researching what type of businesses align with the lifestyle that you want to have. Maybe it's getting to networking events. Maybe it's going to meetups. Maybe it's just watching some YouTube videos. Micro goals help the fear come down because you feel like you're able to attain these small goals. And what also happens is that you build trust. But throughout my experience to overcome fear is the number one thing that I keep coming back to is trusting yourself. When you have a lot of fear, it means you don't trust yourself to do things. You don't trust that you're capable of doing things. So in order to build trust in yourself, you need to take action. And then the next thing is you have to have a clear vision of your dream. If you don't have a clear vision, the fear is gonna creep in because it doesn't know what it, it wants to pursue. Like it, your body's gonna be like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what you want. I'm scared. I'm run away, run away. And it just starts like running away. What you need to do is catch yourself before you run away. Like, okay, you're afraid you don't know what you want. Let me visualize it. Let me write down what I want. Let me get very clear on what I want. Okay, what does that business look like? Who am I talking to during this business? You know, what does it look like to have someone that I love and care for? How do I feel? Like, get clear. Have it so vivid that it feels like a memory. That is a big part of overcoming fear because once it starts feeling like a memory, your brain is not gonna feel fear because it's like, oh, I know this. Even though it doesn't know, it doesn't know, but you can trick your mind like that. Start visualizing your dream very clearly so that you have a clear path to where you want to go. The thing that I've done whenever I feel very fearful is I educate myself. I learn about what I'm afraid of. So I learn about business or I learn about planes or I learn about, you know, what it's like to be in a healthy relationship. I learn, I educate myself. We live in a world full of information and that is something we need to use in our favor. When you start educating yourself, you start trusting yourself and you start feeling less afraid because you understand the dynamics and everything that kind of goes into pursuing your dream. Another thing that's helped me a lot is actually living the present moment and understanding that now is the time. It is about living now. Like we have today, today. Today is the day that you can take action on your dreams or you can't. And even if it's a small action, it will open doors for you and it will create trust in you, which is the biggest thing you need to understand, right? So living in the present moment, how can you live in the present moment? These are some questions that I really recommend tapping into. If you're like, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to like understand that the now is the only moment we have. This is what I do. Go ahead and grab that. Then another thing that I've done that's helped me overcome my fear is honestly get, I get fed up with myself. I just like, I can't ever, I cannot do this. You cannot do this again, not another year. You're not gonna do this for another year. No way, no way are we doing another year like the same, we're just not doing that. And that really helps, honestly, giving myself a little pep talk, getting myself, getting mad at myself, be like, dude, what's happening? You're, you know you're better than that. And when I step into being fed up, I say, okay, what can I do? And I always end that question with what can I do? And I also end with compassion. I know you're just trying your best to be safe and to feel comfort, but you know you're meant for more. You know you're meant for something different. And honestly, every time I get like that done energy, like I'm fed up, things happen. Even that energy, that, that declaration of, I'm no longer living this life, I'm living a new life. Like that declaration is massive and it changes things and it puts you in a path that is in a more alignment towards your big dreams. So that's another way to overcome fear. You can give yourself a little bit of tough love, which sometimes we all need. Sometimes we all need a little bit of tough love and that's okay. All right, and then the next thing that has helped me is spiritual growth. Essentially what it is, is when you go through a spiritual awakening and when you understand the spiritual part of yourself, like you get that you're so taken care of and you also get that you're here on purpose and that you're here to achieve a specific specific life and you're here to reach certain people or have certain people in your life and you're here to experience certain things and you do not take that for granted because you understand that your soul is here to experience this and if you don't do that you're just kind of hurting yourself it doesn't hurt anyone else but you so when you kind of go through a spiritual awakening it really does help you kind of shift things and how you go through spiritual awakening everyone's different i i would say my spiritual awakening journey is different than ever, anyone's and anyone's is different than mine because some people go through something very traumatic. Some people, it's more coming out through depression. Some people go through a breakup. Some people go through a medical scare. Um, some people just kind of are gravitated towards it from a very early age. Some people are workaholics. So many variables for when your spiritual like awakening activates. Um, but you'll know, you'll, you'll start feeling called to meditating. You'll start being called to like controlling your mind. You'll start being called to videos like this. 
you'll start learning more about the laws of the universe you'll start being called to understand you know god more source like you'll be called and you'll be led and that's a big thing is let yourself be led it is really beautiful when you get to that point now with that being said though because i was in that spiritual path there are a lot of tools that i've used that have helped me tremendously overcome fear tremendously and these tools help me stay grounded in my truth stay grounded in my vision stay grounded in trusting myself tools like you know, eft tapping which is emotional freedom te technique it's pretty much like acupuncture you're tapping the meridians and you're releasing stuck emotion you're releasing things that are a little bit heavier that are in your body it's life-changing i love tapping and so much so that now i share tappings and do tappings for for people another one breath work when you tap into your breath things change and you're able to ground yourself in the in the now and not in your mind another thing that i focus on when it comes to fears is meditation is focusing on visualizations or focusing on just having more peace in myself so that when i do have these visions when i do have these big dreams my first reaction is an anxiety my first reaction is a calmness a, oh that's exciting i'm excited for that because that's the practice of meditation that's what meditation a lot brings you it brings you a lot more clarity it brings you a lot more peace a lot more stillness and when you have that whenever you have big dreams and pursue these big dreams they're not going to impact you as intensely as when you don't have a grounded practice of course there's yoga yoga helps me a lot to kind of just get into the body and out of the mind a big thing when releasing the fear is you have to get out of the mind you have to get out of the mind and into the body and into action because if you get stuck in the mind you get really stuck in that chatter of it's not possible and we're not here to get stuck in that chatter we're here to shift it as quickly as possible into possibility and that's a big one and then the last thing guys it's understanding that the comfort zone is just there to keep you safe it's not actually something you want it, it really isn't and when you get tired of the comfort zone when you're like i actually don't feel happy here i am having bad habits like it's mindlessly scrolling maybe it's binge eating maybe it's alcoholism you know bad relationships maybe it's letting yourself be bullied at work like it can be a ton of different things but that all happens when you're in the comfort zone that all happens because you're letting yourself not pursue your dream life and that is something that no longer needs to be part of your narrative after watching this video i want you to drop a comment below and tell me what you're pursuing like what is your big dream and it doesn't have to be a massive you know i want to be a millionaire dream just tell me what you want and tell me something that you're afraid of pursuing but you really would love to have it claim it in the comments and that already is a huge step forward out of your comfort zone you're going to put it on the internet and that's scary so let yourself be heard, let yourself be seen, let yourself achieve the big dreams that you know you can achieve because you're, you are able to do them. Thank you for watching this video. I hope these tools helped you as they helped me throughout my journey of overcoming fear and worry. Stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed so that you can grab the next video, which is an EFT tapping focus on how to release fear and worry from the body so you can manifest your dream life. It's going to be a good one and I hope that you're here for it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you again and I will talk to you in the next video.